Good morning, Janet. Well, let me tell you where I am. First of all, I'm in one of the thousands of centers for fiscal assistance here. They just opened in one of the uh, streets in central uh, Rome. Now, these centers, as well as the thousands of post offices around the country, will be the places where uh, people, where Italians and non-Italians who've lived here for at least 10 years um, are eligible to apply today for the first time uh, for the citizen's income. Now, not everybody, of course, of the people behind me are going to, but certainly some uh, do we check that um, now what do we need you explained already uh, what the requirements are well first of all uh, you uh, need to essentially live under the line of poverty which is 780 euro per month here uh, you need to declare that and you need to prove that you should not own a second home that is worth uh, more than 30,000 uh, euro um, and you should not have savings if you're a single of 6,000 euros or if you're a family of 10,000 euros now if you match all of those criteria and several others. For instance, you should not own uh, a motorbike or a car uh, over a certain horsepower and therefore uh, expensive or any boat, uh, obviously. If you, may, if you match all of these uh, complicated criteria, then you may be eligible for the citizen's income, which could be up to 780 euro. As you mentioned, there are conditions. You should, train, uh, you should attend training uh, to get some skill. You should accept one of the three jobs, the first three jobs that are offered to you. But here's a problem. Now, the thousands of tutors, as they call them, that are supposed to help uh, the, those eligible to find training and to find the job have not been, have not been hired yet. So there's a bit of confusion uh, there. Also. Uh, also, the structures feel like this one feel like they may be overwhelmed uh, by uh, the millions of Italians who may uh, may ask for uh, the uh, citizens' income and who may be followed from here to uh, the following uh, months. Also, there is a lot of criticism over whether this scheme will work in the first place. Now, this was a landmark promise by the Five Star Movement, and they, the reasoning behind it essentially is that uh, by getting a welfare handout every month um, with the intention of finding a job that will motivate people to find a job. Also, by receiving money they need to spend every month on a digital card, uh, people will put the money back into the economy and therefore it will stimulate the economy. Those who criticize this scheme say it's not going to work, first of all, because Italy does not have the money. I mean, if 2.7 million Italians who are the ones that are believed to be eligible for this will get the money that will amount to something between 6 to 9 billion euro per year, money that Italy simply does not have. And also uh, the problem of the training, as I said, well, you need to create a structure that right now does not exist, Janet. As you say, a lot of concern about whether Italy can afford this, given its level of debt. Uh, but those who apply for this scheme, they won't be able to just stay on it permanently, will they? There has to be a, a finite limit to this, given how much it's going to cost. Well, the limit for now, they say, is 18 months, where well, you can receive that money for 18 months. But then you can just stop for a month. You're not going to get the money for a month and then start again. So there's not really uh, a time limit that has been set to this, but there are the conditions that I mentioned earlier, which is eventually you got to, to accept one of the jobs that are offered to you. But there are limits there too. I mean, the job needs to pay at least 858 uh, euro per month. And if you think about it, I mean, 780 uh, euro per month is actually um, as high, if not higher, uh, as a salary for a low-skilled individual. And people may just think, well, I'd rather just stay on the dough and just try to do my best not to find the job. Also, here's another problem, Janet. Italy's got one of the uh, highest ratio of off-the-book labor. Now, there's millions, calculated five millions workers uh, who are off the book and have not reported to have a job. So the risk here, the real risk, is that uh, the money may end up in the hands of someone who has a job, but we just don't know about it.